Hello! What's going on everyone? How's everyone doing today? Hope you are having an awesome day. I am too. My name is Noob Sniper, aka Matt, aka... I don't know. <laughs> Sheep, give me a title. Come on. Perfect. Alright, well I'm going to be Noob Sniper then. So, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Let's Play. Last le we left off, we were working on our storage room back in our little base. And I've done a little bit of renovation with that. Mr. Sheepy here is having some some grass. Um, we did a little bit of renovation with that. I did off screen. I also, also worked on this. So <laughs> if you remember, we were digging into a, a quarry or excuse me, a ravine here. And what I went ahead and did was just glass this over so that we could still see the ravine kind of added a cool little effect and dug all the way down to optimal or close to optimal diamond hunting levels and that is approximately 13 I believe e oh, 12 I was at I'm actually at 12 right now so um I guess we need to go look for diamonds because I don't have any right now and um, yeah so let's just go ahead and Oh, wait, I need to grab myself a pick. Oh, look, there's some diamonds right here. Oh, my God, I did not notice them before. <laughs> so uh, I actually just started mining. I'm like, all right, well, I guess I'll pick this area. And one of the first blocks was actually like, right here, and I found diamond. And I thought to myself that was pretty comical, considering I thought I was going to be having to search for quite a while. So, uh, whoops, sorry. Uh, this is my little mining base excavation area. I'm just going to fill this up with... All the odds and sods about uh, that I get from mining, mostly just random materials, as well as ores and what have you. I'm not going to get all of these ores because I'm going to wait until I have a fortune pick so I can maximize what I get. But I don't have a fortune pick right now and I do need some diamond equipment. So we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves. Oh, these lovely diamonds. Oh, so beautiful. Five diamonds. Oh my god. So amazing. Ah, ah so good. Nom, nom, nom. Okay, so I will be right back with the three new honorary nooblets. Whoa, lovely lag. Cool story, bro. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. And here we are in the Hall of Honorary Nooblets. Let's go introduce the three more people that have been added to the ongoing and growing list of the Minecraft Hall of Honorary Nooblets. So... This week we have, or excuse me, this episode we have Beck Plox, better known as Becky. I always refer to her as Becky because Becky's cool. I uh, met Becky, ooh, what, a year or two ago now? Um, we became pretty good friends, gaming buddies, uh, mostly on Minecraft, and she does a lot of League of Legends as well, so. Becky, you're awesome. And uh, last episode I asked um, everyone to submit a funny comment, and I, so I, I based... It purely on funny comments and while I can't exactly disclose Becky's comments since it was a, it's a little inappropriate let's just say I was very drunk and I was intoxicated I was live streaming some Minecraft and if you know anything about the Big Bang Theory if you think about the Big Bang Theory and you take it into a very derogative manner you might be able to understand what I said um, being in the very wrong state of mind I ended up saying something very inappropriate but hilariously funny so we her I and my friend Chad also shared that moment it was hilarious it was awesome so that was also that's something I'm always gonna remember it was one of it was a very funny moment for sure so uh, next up is JW Bales and his comment was uh, in regards to the funniest Minecraft story I have it written down here he says he was wandering around checking my minecart system, uh, check checking that his minecart system was all set up, and a zombie came shooting along in a minecart, moaning at me as he went past. And shortly after, a spider came past me in a second minecart. I don't know why, but I find that hilariously awesome. <laughs> I could just imagine, you know, you're doing your thing, and all of a sudden you hear. And then a zombie, <laughs> he goes by, and you're you know you're doing a double take. You're like, what? In, what? What? What the heck was that? And then 
the spider comes along and tries to attack you and he's in a minecart as well so i found that very very comical and for the third and final inductee into or would it be an inductee i don't know he was inducted into the hall of fame is ssj burger or if I am correct in assuming that would be Super Saiyan Burger. Super Saiyan being related to Dragon Ball Z. And he said, I spawned in a world and it put me in a grassland biome, which meant no trees. So I said to myself, I'll go and find myself a tree and bring a sapling over to my house. It took me over two hours to find a tree. And he put it in parentheses, which ended up being on the peak of a mountain. And finally, when I got a sapling, a zombie pushed me over the ledge, killing me. When I came back to find the sapling, which disappeared, I saw a snow biome in the distance. It wasn't on any mountains. I died for nothing. I don't know why I found that very, very comical to hear that you've been searching for a tree, finally get the sapling that you really want, and the zombie just uh, nudges you in the back, tosses you off the mountain. So that was uh, this week's or today's episode's um, inductees into the Honorary Nublet Hall of Fame. So if you guys want to be possibly invited and added to the honorary wall of nublets please be sure to answer today's special question today's special question is something i've actually been wondering for a while and that is what do you like about minecraft what don't you like about minecraft and if you could change one thing what would it be so that is today's question if you want to be, uh, I'll pick the best three responses to add it to the Hall of Honorary Nublets. And without further ado, I know it's been so long. Hopefully you guys aren't extremely bored and haven't left yet. But today we're going to go, um, we're going to build ourselves a reed farm because I do want to go to the nether and I need an enchanting table because I want to enchant my stuff before I go to the nether. So we need to get on that reed farm stat. So this is what I did from last episode. It's not complete, but. This is kind of how I want to go about this. I know not everyone is a huge fan of this jungle, uh, what is it called? Jungle wood planks, jungle planks, that's it. The, I like the kind of pink color it adds. I don't know, with this grass and the wood, it kind of just goes. But if you have any other suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below as well. Uh, I'll have to make some kind of better transition. I think this is <laughs> regular stone. Right into planks is not exactly the smoothest thing, but I'll find a way to incorporate it. I also set up a double door activated by a single pressure plate. There you go. Uh, very simple, just basic redstone wiring, but if you guys want me to give a quick tutorial, I can do that. And here is the unfinished storage room. I also want to, or I need to start a cow farm so I can make some leather, so I can get some item frames above these guys, but... This is just the general uh, schematic or a general layout I wanted. I want some furnaces in the middle. I also might have, might also might might replace. Blah, 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 blah. I'm stumbling over my words here. I might replace this floor with uh, workbenches, so I have that readily available. Or I just might fill all these empty spaces with workbenches. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, but. This is how we went. I went with the grass to kind of give it a... I like. I don't know. I like grass in a, in a room. It kind of gives it a, a nice feeling. And we have all our chests here. I believe there is... Let's see. Three, five, seven, ten. We have approximately 15 chests or so. Not double chests. Not all double chests, but approximately 15. I can't do math, so... Three, 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 three. Yeah, there's 14, I believe. Anyways, point being, this is just uh, a beta or an alpha version of our storage room. We definitely might change this. So if you have any suggestions, again, feel free to leave them in the comments. But let's go ahead and take a nap here so we can get our get our, our episode finally rolling. I know it's been a little bit of uh, it's been a little bit since we actually started here. Started. Oh shoot! Whoops. We need to drop off our diamonds so we don't die. And I've been kind of procrastinating and doing a bunch of different stuff not related to this today's episode's goal, but it has to be done. Stuff has to be done. Do I have a bucket on me? I do. Good. Let's go ahead and plant this this sapling randomly too. Also, I added a little bit more foliage if you haven't noticed, just so I can 
get this place looking a little more natural. And so what I also did was uh, from I think last or two episodes ago we had finished the farm or finished this part of the farm and it didn't really have a viable way to get up and down. So what I did was I ended up just taking out these blocks and making it so that I can actually just get up here like that. Not exactly the best way, but you know what? It works. So we're also going to work with this and make this go down. So let's go ahead and dig down a few blocks here. Um, okay. I actually want to add a sign if possible. Do I have a sign on me? I don't. Go ahead and make a sign. Oh wait, um, okay, I don't know why I had that separately stacked. There we go. So that we can stop the water here. Perfect, so we can still get up and down, but we can actually build here. So, water current goes down to there. I wanna give myself a little bit more space here. Maybe a little bit more here. Reed's gonna be three tall. Water's gonna be down there. Okay, so I think this is suitable. Just need to dig it out. And I'm actually gonna use these picks here. Just need to dig it out. And I'll be right back once I have this done. I don't wanna bore you guys too, too much. So, be right back. Ah, <sighs> silverfish. So, I'm randomly mining. And one of the updates made it so that silverfish randomly appear. We had this happen before. And it was not exactly the funnest thing in the world. So we're going to have to try to take this guy out without him spreading to a bajillion other so, uh, other blocks here. So I'm going to... Oops. Take this out. Because if you hit him, what happens is he decides to call his buddies. Nope. Nope, nope, go away. Darn it. Can I push him off? Ah, darn. Where is he? There we go. Okay, so I need to... <laughs> Great. I need to make myself a flint and steel so I can burn him up so that he doesn't infect the rest of the blocks. God darn. Man. Couldn't you just leave me alone, pal? Couldn't you just leave me alone? For reals. Alright. Got that. Um, one, two, three. I was working so peacefully, so nicely. But no. You have to be a big meanie pants. <laughs> Alright, well. It's not a problem. We'll have them dealt with quicker than you can imagine. Uh, we don't need more torches. Let's go. Let's go burn the silverfish. Ah. Not the house, just the silverfish. And there will also be probably another block or two at least that will also have that silverfish effect happening. So we'll take them out, no problem. Let's see if we can make sure not to hit him here. Okay. What? Did he? Oh, wait, did he encompass? No, what the heck? Where'd he go? the heck? What? Okay, let's see if we can find him here. It'll break very easily if it's a silverfish block. Did I suffocate him maybe by accident? That would be hilarious if I actually suffocated him. There's no way. I might have, like, just pure coincidentally. Let's see. No, none of these guys. Wow, we, <laughs> well then, God, that was all in vain. Okay, so, anyways, as long as we don't have, oh, there's another silverfish block right here. Oh, these are both silverfish blocks. Okay, so let's get this out. All right, so these guys are silverfish blocks. Let's, can we do that? He'll hopefully take some fire damage. Perfect. Come on now. There we go. Okay. So he's dealt with there. Just make him walk through fire. Whoops. Alright. 
So, is that the end of the silverfish blocks? Ah, oh, darn, this one's silverfish too. Oops. Just gonna walk straight into fire. Ow. Okay. Now, I'm hoping not the none of these are also affected. It's just annoying. Okay, I think we're safe. I'm just gonna try to deal with any more if I end up running into them. But ah, <sighs> okay. I'm probably gonna double this space. One of the quite a big farm here. So I will be right back. Alrighty, so. We have this little 11 by 11 by 4 room high, uh, about 400 blocks or so I had to take out. And here is the moment of truth. I wanted a bit of a fountain here, but I'm not sure if I can actually get that effect. So, let's see. Will it work? Yay, it works perfectly fine. That's exactly how I wanted it to work. That is good. Okay, so. Could I split these? Yes, I can. Hmm. Just thinking of a way to incorporate it. Um, or a way to incorporate this water. Into these guys here. Maybe like this. Oh, it only goes a certain... Mm. What to do, what to do. Well, if this doesn't work, this is what I plan to do. Um, I'll probably just do a four, like an infinite spring in the middle. And something like this, with water in the middle there. Yeah, I think that'll work. No, I, I might have to redo this one, because I kind of want it to be a nice looking farm too. And I think the dimensions are off, which is kind of throwing me off, so... We'll have to see. I also need to probably uh, bring this down one more level. Can I take another level out? I might be able to just take another level out. Yeah, I'll have to do that too. It's all experiments, all you know, learning process. So I'll make some kind of some kind of design here. So it looks it looks kind of like a fountain. It looks decent. Let me take that out now. And again, this will be our way up and down, so we can just sort of run and jump. And hopefully make it out here alive without dying. Yeah, we should be fine. It is raining on the... It is raining in the world, unfortunately. But what's a little bit of rain, that's not going to damper us. We're actually going to go ahead and... Grab our reeds and start planting, I guess. Not really much else we can do here. And let's go ahead. I have no clue where I left my... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I do remember. I'm trying to remember where I put the where I put my green vegetation stuff. I need to get that organized as well. Oh, oh, I was gonna say to stop raining. Guess not. Uh, lighting is also an issue, only because I want to use glowstone instead. So until we get our glowstone, it's kind of useless. But let's go ahead and plant these guys. Perfect. And we're obviously going to need much, much more, but that'll come with time, so. Cool. Let's just toss some light there so they can grow. I'll get these filled up with water and most likely cover them up with uh, stone slabs. So, I shall be right back when it's all done. Hmm, well... I'm not exactly feeling the stone slabs, but this is the general design that I was going for. Where it's kind of little cubicles or little squares of reeds and kind of this little structure in the middle. I don't know why. I kind of like it, but I have mixed feelings about it. I think it, the block, this, you know, whatever block I'm using, needs to be the right type of block. And also. This whole room needs to be redone, probably in wood. Um, I don't know, to get like sort of a vegetation feel. I don't know why, but I always associate, you know, green and, and farms and all that with wood, not with stone. I don't know why, but that's kind of the general, you know, way I'm looking at it. The kind of 
what I want to, what I was going for here. I know I'm not the most creative guy in the world, but that's what I was kind of aiming towards. And I'm going to take a quick screenshot there. Not sure what you guys think about that, but uh, feel free to, you know, leave a comment below and <clears throat> and tell me what you guys think. But I'm thinking I'm going to wrap this up. Got some more recording to do, some other stuff. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to click the like button. That helps me a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And other than that, guys, have an awesome day. See ya.